Hello again, and it's time for another project. Today we're going to do this elephant on A4 size redwood pine, I believe. Just stuff that you can purchase from your local woodyard. Nice and simple and cheap. It's going to be an elephant, as you can see, and it's going to have a scene of the giraffe, panther, or whatever that is. And we're going to route it all out. Now normally you could go around with your CNC bit, which is what I'm going to use today, as always. Basically just go around all your lines, paint it, do it, and that's finished. What I want to do today is just give it a bit more depth. So this will be on five levels. I'll explain as we go along. So we've got our image on there. Now the way I do it is simply carbon paper underneath and draw around it. It's the easiest way for me. If you're really clever you can stick your paper on there but it makes such a mess and it doesn't work. So we've drawn our image on like so. Now you can see here I've looked at it and I'm working from the depth from the furthest back which will be the sky and we mark this as a number five. Then we'll lift the router up slightly we'll do this to number four that's a number four. We'll lift it up again, do the three, lift it up again, do the two, lift it up again, believe it or not, and then do the one, and then this will be the finished edge. So that will drop down to one, drop down to two, drop down three, four, and five, and so on. And it's just going to give us a little bit more depth instead of just going around with the router. Like before, these are the bits I'm going to use. CNC bits, absolutely fantastic, I love these. You all need what they call a little collet, and that basically just slots on there, and that gives you now a quarter inch shaft, and that will fit into your router, no problem. So, we'll start with the deepest first, and as we come up, we'll start doing the numbers. So we're carving by numbers, basically. The way I'm going to work out my distance-wise, if I could just show you on the back side of here, I've actually marked this off five little marks if you can see that so number five will be set to that one which is plenty deep enough and then when we do the number four we'll set it to that one up again to three to two and one is literally just enough to say that we've routed it out and that will be the black excuse me that will be the black stuff on here okay that's enough talking let's start routing out Right, we've gone around the deepest part, which is our number five for now. What I'll do next is put on a quarter inch, one eighth bit, and just remove these two sides. You could actually leave those there to give you a bit more of a base for the router, but it's quite a small piece, so it'll straddle either side of that gap in between, no problem. So I'll pop that on, and we'll release this one, and then we'll come up to a number four should we say and do all the fours which is that one and that one and then we'll come up to number three and so on so I'll remove these two sides for now just a quick one if you can just see on the horns here obviously it's wide and it gets narrower and narrower and narrower to a point the way I do that is as you come towards the point because obviously the router bit is going to be quite wide you should slowly lift the router up out the wood and it'll go from thick and as you lift it up, it will get thinner and thinner until you finally make it to a point. So that's how that bit's done. Right. 
Right, that's the fives all cleared out. Quite deep enough is that, to be honest. If you can see that. But hopefully that gives enough depth to play you with. Because remember, we've got to do a four, a three, a two and a one. So yeah, can't go too shallow, to be honest. Right, we've moved the uh, router bit up. We've used our little gauge on the side, remember? It's only a rough guideline, so I've gone from five. It's roughly set on four now. And then we'll do the same again with three, two, one. So let's remove these number fours. Right, we've done our four, as you can see from there. Just round the tree there, look. Around the giraffe's, giraffe's neck, shall I say. It's, just, it's got quite good thickness to it. But I sort of get a three, a two, and a one out of that. So it might be a little bit tight, but we'll uh, continue. Okay, we'll raise the router up again. Sorry, the uh, bit in the router, the CNC bit. Set it to our same mark there, three. And we'll take our three, which is this one here. Going round the giraffe's legs. It's going to be the hardest bit, and round that tree. And then we'll raise it up again, do the two. And then the final one, which will be the easiest one to be honest, even though it looks more complicated with all these animals around it, it will be a case of lowering it down by one and just skimming over the whole lot. Because we've already took out all the backgrounds. So that will be the easiest one to do, to be honest. So it's getting easier to go along. Right, let's do number three now and see how we get on. Right, we've done our fives, fours, threes. We've all been waiting on this one. The number two. Not a lot of thickness here to play with. So I'm going to have to try and go half that again. And we take out the number two and in between his legs. We've not lost anything at this moment in time. We've even managed to put a little tail on him. On the giraffe. Right, so we've moved up again. We've moved up to our number two towards the end. So take the last piece out and then we'll lower this final one. Hopefully, if we have any room left to remove some. Right, so we've done a two, three, four, five levels. This is the last section to take out. The only issue I'm going to get now is, if you can see from there... You can see how thin that is. So I'm just going to be a bit careful and play that by ear. If I really wanted to lower this down, I'm going to have to reduce that again, reduce that again, reduce that again, and reduce that again. Plenty at the front here, because obviously it's number fours up here, so plenty of depth there. So we'll remove the trunk area, remove this up to the giraffe, I would think, and then I'll have to just go around the edge on this one and just play that. And we'll blend it all in. It'll all work out in the end. But you can see the uh, the effect we're going for. So let's take out the trunk area next. Okay then, that's sort of sanding down and playing about with, with it. I got away with not losing these pieces here by literally just putting a 
a grass effect run across here. If not, I would have to reduce every four levels by the same again. And I just wasn't prepared to do that today. So we're going to put some paint on this. And some uh, linseed oil, Danish oil, just to darken that wood down again. But you see the general idea we're going for. Let's start putting some paint on. Right, that's all finished now then. We've done all our painting. I sprayed four or five coats of a uh, clear sealant just to give it a bit of a shine. And that's basically this project done. Now originally this was going to be a silhouette which would have been easier because this would all be in black against the moon. But somehow as we've gone along with this project it's ended up being a nice bright blue sky day. And this is what we've ended up with. And I, I like that sometimes. You can only plan to a certain extent and the rest just takes shape by itself. But as you can see it's got a nice shine on it. It's on four levels so it's quite a lot of work involved with this even though it doesn't look much at the end of the day. So that's that little project finished. So a scene set within an animal router project 12 inches by 8.5 as said before. Thank you very much for watching.